Let's go! You got so in shape. I mean, I... I <laughs> what do I have to do to get in that kind of shape? Because you're super ripped in that. Um... <laughs> I trained for five months. I trained twice a day for five months. Right. So I would, I basically, I'd wake up in the morning and over time I added miles to my road work, but I'd start at like three miles and then eventually I was running eight miles and then I would go and I'd work out for two hours to do mitt work, heavy bag. Jake and I trained eight hours a day, you know, for a month and a half, two months. Lived like boxers, uh, clean diet, clean lifestyle, didn't go out. Um, put in miles and miles. I mean, I'd get to the gym, you know, thinking I'd be the first one there and he'd already run like seven miles, you know, on, and, and learning the choreography and all that. Yeah, it was, it was intense. Around boxers all the time, going to every fight that I could, um, researching the history of what my character had gone through. We spent weeks on my jab and my jab alone. Footwork also, all the most sort of frustrating things, you know. I look at it, all those things as a challenge and you get to learn a new skill and I thought, if I work really hard, I might not look like a fool, you know? <laughs> so I just tried to work as hard as I could. In that type of shape, I think it breeds a kind of confidence, which is like kind of beyond normal self-confidence. You feel like an animal, you know? Oh, you got in shape and whatever. How many sit-ups did you do and how many push-ups and how many days did you work out? And I, and I just literally never thought of that. What I thought about was I just need to be, I need to learn how to box. How many sit-ups did you do? Yeah. That's a big thing. I Like, not anything else but sit-ups. I only did sit-ups to train for boxing. Yeah. <laughs> like, huge abs and little mule arms. <laughs> Were there ever days when you got up and go, oh, I am just not going to the gym today? That's it. Totally. I was like, I am just not going to the gym today. <laughs> there were many days where I was sore and many days where it was really no fun. And it's an incredibly hard sport. I think no matter who you are, no matter what you do in your life, no matter where you've come from, um, you have to fight. We all fight in different ways. And it's a metaphor, sometimes it's literal. I really believe that freedom is on the other side of discipline. Your mind can only match where your body is. And so it's, you're never mastering it. It's, it's always a lesson. Things catch you in unexpected ways. And I think that's a beautiful metaphor for life. If you've always had a strong work ethic or, or if you learned that somewhere. My father is incredibly disciplined. I remember as a boy, like he would be up at 4.30 in the morning and he would write, he would, even if it was like writing in his diary or something like that, like my last name, I think means something like hard rock or something. It was like a genetic really? thing of, yeah. And when I set my mind to something, I just won't stop until I do it. You know, it's something I pride myself on. It's something I hate about myself. I care a lot, <laughs> you know? Um, and, uh, and it always has been like that. When somebody says, I want you to play this role in my movie, you have a great responsibility. And it's just bottom line for me. You made a promise to your director saying, of course, I devote myself and my life to this. Um, and then you realize as you're doing it that, you know, you had no idea what you said when you made that promise. <laughs> What is the key to it? Just put the work in. It's actually 90% of it is, 85% of it is diet. Tell everybody your routine. Uh, I wake up at three, I go down to the kitchen, I make uh, egg whites, Ezekiel bread, almond butter with a little avocado. Every morning? Every morning. I go downstairs, I work out for about an hour uh, with my buddy Jonathan. So then I have a shake and then I have, I make a salad and my food to go for the morning. And then I have turkey burgers and sweet potato. And then I go to the golf course at six o'clock. I play till eight o'clock. And then I rush home to meet my, my wife after she drops off the kids. And then I do whatever else I gotta do. I gotta say, it felt great to be doing so awesome. What time do you go to bed if you get up at three? You go to bed seven. at seven I every night? I gotta get night? eight hours, yes. So every day you eat that cleanly? Yes. Call me crazy. I don't know. My body's top priority. I'm hot! I'm big! That ain't no weight. Come on, lift that weight. Come on. I was, you know, 165 pounds in my last movie, and then I had to walk on the set at 205. So 40 pounds of muscle in seven weeks. That was a lot of physical preparation. I gotta get a pump. 
That's it. It's good. It hurts. I know it does. That's it. Get it. Oh, he just let juice. Going up the air. That's what I'm talking about. I really wanted to look the part. I was just like. 10 meals a day plus the weight gainer and all this stuff. It was uh, it was fun for like two weeks because the first movie I did I had to really kind of get thin. Mm -hmm. But after that it was like I know more. What was the one food that you got totally tired of eating? Chicken. You... <laughs> chicken. Loads of chicken. Pounds and pounds. I would eat at least two rotisserie chickens a day myself. It's time to get busy. Let's do this. The one thing that Mark has that truly makes him part of that athletic community, that pro athlete, is his mindset. You can't deny mindset. Look at us, man. It's like Superman. Come on! A little bit of bodybuilding. Let's go. Let's go. You're jacked. Appreciate it. Yeah. Is this a new thing? Did you get this just for the movie? Have you always been this built? I kind of was born just like that. <laughs> just, just, just abs. Down. I started training about a year, a year before we started filming. You had to bulk up 24 pounds, I heard. 24 right? pounds of muscle. Yeah. A lot of protein? Uh, tons. I mean, uh, just chicken, broccoli, brown rice, gallon and a half of water a day, and just, just doing that consistently. Changing the diet was the first thing. Cutting down the sugars, the breads, pasta, dairy. Ah, dairy. Cheese. God. I'm drinking a lot of water. I try to get through a gallon and a half of water a day. And I was eating grilled chicken, brown rice, and broccoli for about a year and a half, six days a week. Wow. Worked out two, two to three times a day, and uh, yeah, put the time in. My training has been pretty intense. I think I boxed three or four days a week and weight trained every day for about eight months straight. And then eventually, you know, you start seeing the results and that motivates you to keep going and stick to the crazy routine and strict diet. It's Photoshop, man. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> the kid's tough, I mean, seriously. And he also is a great athlete, for real. I mean, he's almost pro quality basketball player, so he has great skills. I got some good genetics, too. Thanks, Mom. Thanks, Dad. Appreciate it. Did you lay off sex, too, like boxers say they have to do? Um, not so much. Okay. <laughs> not, not so much, you know what I mean? But uh, during filming, I was pretty focused. When, when we finished, you know, the boxing sequence, you know, all the fighting, I mean, I was exhausted. I was, I was, I was done, like, physically, like, tapped out to the point where, like, you know, I couldn't get up the next morning oh, and, like, sure, and, yeah. and, and, and come into work, and I had to film. And, you know, for me, you know, there's it's no days off, you know what I mean? I'm like, nah, I gotta get up, I gotta, I gotta work, but I literally physically couldn't get out of bed. Sometimes you gotta pack everything up and leave your your, your comfort zone, become uncomfortable and find and, and find and find another comfort zone somewhere else. That's how you grow. Still do it now after the movie's done or no? Yeah, I'm kind of in a routine, I'm hooked. Like boxing is one of those things, it gets you in great shape, you're mentally focused and disciplined, and I just I just like it, you know? Honestly, once you get over the hill, you know, and you, 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 you've been, you did 10, 11 months of, of, of training, you don't want to go back because you know how hard it was to get this. But aren't you like, oh, I just want to eat a pizza? No, this is true, but then I found out you can't eat that pizza as long as you, you have like maybe three or four other meals that's super clean, you can have that cheat meal. And I think that's the misconception sometimes of diets and being healthy, that you can eat what you want, just within moderation. Were you knocked out at any stage? Not knocked out, but I was definitely slow on the ground. He He's was sleeping. I got hit. He was dreaming. He was counting sheep. <laughs> you know what? It was the South best. Second.
take a moment to look at the shape that this guy came in. This guy motivates you to work out. I started following him on Instagram, and he's an animal. Zac Efron is on Roy. So that's how you got your body in, in yes. tip-top shape. You pump up your muscles before you... Yeah, ev I mean, everyone does. It's, it's like a... It's Zach like, just brave enough to talk about it. Yeah, I, it's like, I, <laughs> like Dwayne The Rock does it. We do it together. It's very... Uh, uh, homosexual. <laughs> as much as you can do to get your, your blood flowing. That's what Arnold calls the bomb. The bomb. But what about dieting? Because you need to be on a strict diet to look like that. Um, I do eat a pretty strict diet. Raw and healthy and organic. And, uh, eat only in endangered animals. Penguins. No, not endangered. Yeah, animals. they're just very on the brink healthy. of extinction. I understand you've put on nine kilos, but it's all muscle. How'd you do it? I, I trained every day with a Navy SEAL, um, and it was a, a pretty grueling training process. And then on top of that, just had to eat a ton of calories, all healthy calories, like 6,000 calories in the containers. And we just Six, eat to me all Did you day. say 6,000 calories? Up to 6,000 calories a day. A day? Yeah. Very regimented, and it was every two hours, any time that I wasn't. If I wasn't talking on camera, there was somebody with like a, a big plate of food. What did you eat? Chicken breast, five chicken breasts a day. A lot of eggs, a lot of vegetables, a lot of kale, brown rice. You made a chicken shake, is that oh. right? Oh. The chewing of it, it would take forever. <laughs> it really, I had to yeah. work, I had to like film scenes. I trained every day before work. You got up at like freaking 3.30 in the morning. I did. A lot of morning, he was like, we, we would have to start shooting at like six. And Zach had already been to the gym and 4.45. I had already eaten <laughs> breakfast and second breakfast. I, I was in pretty good shape when I came into this movie. I was skinnier, but I was in good shape. Right. And I thought, oh, you know, I know what I'm doing here. One of our first days of training, he was like, all right, 200 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and you're done. We lifted weights every single day. I worked mainly on compound lifts, multi-joint exercises, squats, deadlifts, overhead presses, bench press, stuff like that. At, at one point, there was a rumor that I was on steroids. Uh, and that was, I don't know, I'm not that big. <laughs> That's fair enough. It's all CGI in the movie, so yeah. I'm not even... We shot it like the Hulk. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it was like the Hulk. <laughs> <laughs> oh, pretty impressive. I want you to know how proud I am of you. For what? It's only 85 pounds. Right away on internet that your abs were CGI in this film. It would be impossible to CGI to CGI somebody <laughs> no, I if, know. if they had two hundred million dollars to CGI somebody's abs the whole way through a film. No, it was a bodysuit. <laughs> I'm joking. <laughs> um, no, it was blood, sweat, and tears. I trained over the course for seven months, almost three and a half, four months before the film started. I was here training with my own trainer. Then when the film trainer arrived, I started training with him and my own trainer. At some points, I was training four hours a day in the gym. I had two trainers, two separate trainers. I, was, I don't know what I was thinking. Madman. For a madman. I kept training on set all the time, pumping, pumping, you know, because to me, that was the king. Go, 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 go. The king is bigger than anybody else. He's a big persona. I wanted to fit that body-wise. I wanted to be an example to the other actors and to the stunt guys that, you know, I wasn't just some guy coming in and playing the king, but I was there in every way and was going to work as hard, if not harder, than any of them to prove myself as the king, as a Spartan. Surrounded by flesh. I did want to get into an almost a different type of physicality, like not as big, but more sinewy and that feeling that you're just inside, you're so strong in every moment and tough. Our workouts, especially with Mark Twight, were so extreme that it was circuit training with a lot of different kind of weights or stress, or, and it was just 
you know, by 13 minutes you are vomiting on the floor, you know, and, and we did that on a daily basis. They come in looking a little bit soft, they get smashed. You just keep stepping over little barriers. Then you're enjoying it because you know I'll never be like this again. <laughs> so you think, well, how much more can I push it? I remember there was a final bit I had to break. I was looking pretty good, but I, I wasn't quite cut enough and I just went nuts for a couple of weeks on the rowing machine while I was filming and it just shed, you know, it made such a huge difference to me, you know, and, and, it, and really I could kill it, I could just, you know, when I finished there, I knew I'd had a workout, you know. And then cardio, always a killer. Cardio, cardio, cardio. I hate it, but it's the one that makes a difference. I mean, I kind of love to just go into the gym and do weights, but unfortunately you can't always get away with that, you know. So when you combine weights with circuit training, it's a great way of building muscle, but in a, in a leaner way, and also burning fat, because you're doing a lot of cardio as well, because you're moving so fast, you know. So by the time I finished, I really, I didn't want to step in a gym again for a while, and I pretty much managed the year. <laughs>been skinny but it's you know I've been the funny guy yeah right around 26 or 27 years old I started to to fill out a little bit and, right. and, and Jaden just looks like dad when am I gonna have that and I tell him I said boy this is man meat okay uh -huh. that's chicken breast you're uh -huh. not gonna you're not gonna you're not gonna have this for a while yeah I'm in very good shape here feel that whoa look at that what do you got in there it's right. like a, so what that's is, what a man's arm is supposed to feel like <laughs> I never considered myself an athlete. I was a little bit goofy. The first time I ever actually saw myself look good athletically was in the first Bad Boys. Michael Bay shot me running in slow motion. I was like, hey, that doesn't look half bad. But, uh, but other, than, other than that, I've never been really athletic. It seemed impossible. I, could, I couldn't figure out what the road was from the Fresh Prince of Bel-Air to Muhammad Ali, <laughs> you know, that's a long road oh, right yeah. there. Uh, how hard was it to pre prepare for it? Oh man, uh, we prepared probably for a year. Um, boxing training, I would train probably six or seven hours a day. 6 a.m. running, the boxing gym from 10 a.m. to one in the afternoon. Islamic studies, uh, dialect training where I'd work on the voice and then we had uh, a neurobiologist to help me uh, be able to create the motions and the moves of Muhammad Ali. I would sit in a dark room and I would just watch a loop of a Muhammad Ali move. So I would just watch the jab in a dark room for hours and hours and that would essentially burn neural passages into my brain. And then at the end of the day, we'd go back into the weight room and do weightlifting. The approach was that there's no acting here. There's fighting, become a fighter. And that was the first, really, the six, first six months of the preparation is to become a fighter and live as a fighter and learn how to fight. And then from that point, I would learn how to fight like Muhammad Ali. It's like something really liberating when you stand up. When you get hit and you get knocked down and you stand up, there's like this new man that's created inside of you. Was it sometimes that you, you, you felt that you won't be able to make it? Once I take on a task, I don't even allow myself to embrace the, th the thoughts of maybe not doing it. I realized very, very young that there's no easy way around it. No matter how talented you are, your talent is going to fail you if you're not skilled. Mm -hmm. You know, if you don't study, if you don't work uh, really hard and dedicate yourself to being better every single day. Mm -hmm. The only thing that I see that is distinctly different about me is I'm not afraid to die on a treadmill, right? I will run. You would not be outworked. I will not be, be outworked, out right. period. Yeah. Like you just decide what it's gonna be, who you're gonna be, how you're gonna do it. Just decide. And then from that point, the universe is gonna get out your way. 
people can't do something themselves. They want to tell you, you can't do it. Don't ever let somebody tell you, you can't do something. The road to success is through commitment and through the strength to drive through that commitment when it gets hard. And it is going to get hard, and you're going to want to quit sometimes, but it'll be colored by who you are and more who you want to be. Woo! That was fun. Which one of you boys wants to strip down and go next? <laughs>